Hey guys, still here. Welcome back to Stormworks, where I have good news and bad news. The good news, the helicopter flies pretty well. It's stable, it's, uh, well, it's not very fuel efficient, but it gets to where it needs to be. And I actually made it to the ship that I need to rescue. The bad news, I actually hooked up the connectors to the ship. And then promptly flipped it. And unfortunately, this helicopter no longer has enough lifting power to actually, well, get the boat out of the water, I'm afraid. Um, it just does not have what it takes. This ship, whoops, there go my rotor blades. Mm, yeah. Um, this helicopter just does not have the power that I thought it would have. And to make matters worse, I think I just lost four rotor blades per rotor. So this whole mission is uh, very much not going to happen, especially since my researchers on that boat just died. And right now, the whole helicopter is really reluctant to actually take off. So this whole, whole mission is just one big failure. Um, I can go two ways with this. I can say, okay, well, screw it. I'm just going to reload. Or I can leave the unit here to be picked up at a later date. I think that um, trying to get the helicopter back would be ideal. But at this point in time, it functions more like a semi-boat than anything else. Um, <clears throat> even if I had all my rotor blades, this is not going to work. I mean, my whole cockpit's underwater. I might, if I get lucky and find a good spot, I might be able to just park the helo somewhere. Or partially fly it back. And see if I can just um, hoist the helicopter away from its position and back to base. So, using one big bird to lift another big bird. I mean, I'm surprised it's actually still airborne. It's not really supposed to be airborne with this few rotor blades. But thankfully the gyro is kicking in. So... Um, Big Bird, in its current form, is a failure. In the sense that it actually did more harm than good. Killed the scientist that we were sent to retrieve. And uh, it flipped the ship. It didn't flip its shits, but it flipped the ship. And of course, to make matters worse, that canyon that I was supposed to get those, uh, that ship out of is so narrow that the helicopter started missing rotor blades. Um... So I'm going to call this mission off. I am not going to spend another uh, 20, 30, 40 minutes getting a craft all the way out there to that research vessel and then all the way towing it back. That is just incredibly boring of a mission. So it is back to base and wait for another mission. It is an interesting experiment though with the Big Bird. It's an interesting helo. But it just needs a bigger engine and bigger rotors. It just does not have what it takes unfortunately. So let me go back to base and see what other missions pop up. Alright, we're approaching the base. Uh, it is very hard to see thanks to all of the fog, but I'm really interested in seeing how many rotor blades I actually lost, so what this helicopter is still flying with. It did make it all the way here, which is a good thing. Landing shouldn't be too hard, I mean, the thing is mostly fighting me to land anyway. Um, place your bets. I think I lost three rotor blades on the front, and maybe another three in the back. And you can see the helicopter's vibrating all over the place. It really does not care much for losing all these rotor blades. Then again, this is when those gyros come in incredibly handy. Alright, we're down. Kill the engines. You can stop your silly dance now. Uh, yeah, so that's the damage. <clears throat> I think that's four on the front? Because normally we have eight blades. Yeah, we missed four rotor blades in the front and four on the back. Well, shit. This is what it's supposed to look like. Okay, 
Um, Big Bird, pretty good helicopter. Unfortunately, not really up to the task of lifting a ship. I'm pretty sure it can lift all sorts of other stuff, but not the ship. Now, there are a couple of other missions, like a fuel car transport. Um, this is a pretty long mission. 4.4 uh, to 99 kilometers away. I'm not even sure why the devs have put a mission like this in the game. Why would you want to transport a train cart over 99 kilometers? Or actually even more so. Because you'd be getting the fuel car from over here. And just taking all the train tracks all the way down there. I mean, at some point I might do it, because it also establishes the connection to the mainland. But holy shit, that's a hell of a drive. And since I don't actually have access to trains yet, I couldn't even do the mission, uh, even if I wanted to. Let's see, land vehicles, here's the trains. So I still need 23 research points in order to get that mission even considered. Capturing sharks is something that I've already done, and I'm not interested in doing that again. And transporting the research scientists uh, from the base to the observatory is something that is also very, very far away. So none of this is actually going to work out for me. So let's see what other missions are available. Come on, where's the bed? Here's the bed, let's see what pops up. And in the Arctic this can take quite a while, so it takes no time at all. Uh, yeah, this is something we can do. Get the divers. Unfortunately, the mission assortment in Stormworks is not very diverse. Now, I know where the divers are, because they have already been here at some point. So, it shouldn't be really too difficult to get out there and do the mission. Um, I think I'm going to take the little bird for this one. And just throw a couple of floats on there. Because the little bird is also equipped with a winch, I think. Where is it? Little bird. I think it's little bird fuel. Yeah, we have a winch. We got seats. And we have a couple of floats. But that was not nearly enough floats to actually, well, float. So let's double that up. And since my center of gravity is further in the back than the front... Let's put the other floats somewhere over here. Because this is where we need to support most of the weight. Now my plan right now is to quickly get to the destination using the helo. Once I'm there, I'm going to first get the divers. Then I'm going to come back for the boat and lift the whole boat out of the water. Because right now the divers are the priority. You have the shortest time frame for the divers. Okay, let's see if this will work. Uh, I might need a ladder over here. Otherwise, I think I might not be able to get back up to the helicopter. We do have a heater, I believe. Do we, actually? <laughs> I might have forgotten to install a heater. Glad that I'm checking. Let's throw a heater onto the helicopter. Because those divers might be cold. I um, think I can safely put it in here. And I'm going to need a toggle. Here we go. Heater. Hook that up to the heater and hook everything up to power. Here's my control surfaces. Okay. I saved this thing as little bird fuel. Okay, let's see if the little bird's up for the job. Because we know that the big bird I sure as hell wasn't, but the little bird might. Not so little anymore with all those floats on it, though. Hold on. Why is my helo spinning out of control? I think the gyro in the back might be counteracting some stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa! 
What's going on? Why is this thing going mental? I need this thing to be neutral, not positive. Otherwise it's going to continuously spin the helicopter around. And I think that this is down to the mag all down there. Alright, let's try this again. Let's activate the heater. Did it also set the collective to positive or what? Okay, we're good. Off we go. Climb rate's good. Feels not great, but I only need to do about two kilometers, so it's fine. Now, previously I undertook this mission with a boat, which made me get out and uh, take a walk with the divers. I don't think that's particularly classy, so I don't want to do that this time around. That's why I'm taking the helo. Unfortunately, the weather conditions are still terrible. So, at the moment, I really don't see much. Um, finding these divers shouldn't be too hard. Because I know where they are, but... I'm not really interested in the repeat performance of Big Bird and uh, the missing rotor blades. Oh shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought I could just put the throttle to halfway. But apparently I put it in less than halfway and actually made the thing go stall. Alright, divers, where are you at? Jeez, you really can't see shit out here. We're supposedly 700 meters out. 680. I can barely distinguish the water line. Four hundred meters. Hello, divers. I hope that these boys are carrying a flare. Because otherwise, I'm going to have a hard time actually visually finding them. Come on. I know the boat's out there. Whoa. Oh, that's the rock right over there. Okay. Alright, moment of truth. Can this thing land on water now? This is the big question. It can definitely fly into this, well, cave, as they put it. Gently. Gently. Whoa, well, it kind of works. But it still has a nasty tendency to tip over. Let me see how low I can get these engines. Because I'm going to have to keep them active while I exit the helicopter. Okay, boys, quick. Quick, quick. We're not sticking around. That is, if you guys would like to follow me. Because this helicopter is about to drown. You, sit over there. The other dude, follow me, get in here. Thank you for flying stealth airlines. Be sure to fasten your seat belts. Don't try to close the door because we have no doors. Fuel status, 270. I think I might have enough to actually get the boat in one go. But let's not try to fly through the cave again if I don't absolutely have to. Risks and everything. Let's see, lower the winch. Oh, I put one of these extremely slow winches on it.
Well, this time around, we're not trying to lift a whole research vessel. We're trying to lift one small dinghy. So that should be doable. Especially since we've seen that this thing can actually lift itself. And I imagine that this is a hell of a lot heavier than that dinghy back there. Mm, yeah, I'm done. We're doing all right for fuel. Maggle ready. Slightly further back. Down, got it. Alright, you're along with me. Let's try not to crash into the mountain on our way out. That's where we need to drop off the boat. And it could, in this case, be a very case of literally dropping off the boat. One point five clicks. Now, at one point, then somebody made very uh, accurately on I think either the Steam section for Stormworks or the Reddit is that the game desperately needs more missions because the missions that the game currently has is basically only transfer stuff from point A to point B. That is all that you're doing. Whether you're towing a boat, whether you're rescuing people. Whoa, shit. Sorry about that. Whether you're rescuing people, whether you're trying to airlift somebody off a mountain, whether you're bringing supplies to a lighthouse, it doesn't matter. All that you're doing is shipping stuff from point A to point B. So we need more missions. And at some point I asked the question on Steam, can we import our own uh, homemade or workshop missions into a campaign or into a career game? Does that work? And the answer was that there is currently no way of doing that. So, I think that that might have to do with balancing. You don't want people to start making 1,000 research point missions. Although, if they wanted a hell of a lot of research points, then you could just go creative and unlock everything. Anyway, the game really needs more missions. I know that they have been focusing on optimization. Um, we just got a couple of new seats last week. So, it begs the question, what's going to be next? What sort of item or thing are they going to focus on next? Okay, see ya. That's the boat dropped off. Now for the scientists. Uh, sorry, the divers. Feel still doing alright, but I'm going to have to hurry up here. Now, I know that there is a Discord for Stormworks, and I sometimes check it out when there are particularly nasty bugs that have just been added with a new patch. And on there, they had a list of all sorts of stuff that they were considering adding. And uh, you could vote there whether it was uh, radios, monitors, cameras, weapons, uh, I think multiplayer optimizations. You had a whole host of options. And... Most people voted on, I think, radio equipment, which has now been added. And then people voted for the camera, which has been added. And the camera and the monitors and the screens and stuff. So, the uh, devs are definitely listening to what people want. Which I think is a really good thing. Lots of devs don't actually do that, or maybe not as much as they should. These guys do. There you go. Well done. Stop following me around. And I really hope that at some point we're going to get extra missions. Because just shipping stuff from A to B is uh, getting re really repetitive. It's really not that interesting. And it's also really not that interesting to watch. Because you're just watching somebody fly from point A to point B. Or uh, bring a craft from point A to point B. Whereas maybe a salvage operation... Where you have to go and dive into a wreck, find a particular object, or... Uh, hey, here's a search zone. And go and look for the objective over there. We don't know exactly where this lost swimmer is. And it could take you quite a while to actually find him or her. So be ready for that. 
all these different options that you have. But let me know down below in the comments. What sort of missions would you like to see? What sort of stuff would you think would make for a good mission? I, for one, would like to see something like a, uh, a drug intercept. I know that we don't have weapons, but trying to get to a ship which is getting out of control. Um, and something like that could be very interesting, by the way. Just trying to drop somebody onto a deck of a runaway ship, for example. That would make for an interesting mission, because it would take a vastly different approach than uh, just fly here and uh, do this one thing, bring back this box. If you don't have to do that, and you actually have to go and pursue something, and then lower somebody down with a winch, that could really make for an interesting mission. And sure, with the Arctic, yes, they added a couple of new missions, uh, like the train stuff. But seriously, do I have to travel 100 kilometers in a train? Despite the fact that the, um, I think the only train that I ever made traveled at 360 kilometers per hour, it really worked well. It's just a bit boring, because trains don't go anywhere. You can just go AFK for 20 minutes and you're in the Arctic. Anyway, um, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Not too much going on. Unfortunately, Blackbird did not quite work out. Or sorry, Big Bird. And uh, we're going to have a sea burial over here, I think. Or there for the scientists. That did not quite work out as well as I hoped. Let's see if we can do better next week. So join me then. And I'll see you soon for more Stormworks.